So I'm up on the mountain and I was super nervous. I know my goggles look huge. I was super, and I have to pull them back higher, but I just like them right there. I was really nervous to come again. Second time in 20 years, but I wanted so bad to spend time with my little girl. It took us 14 years. I've always wanted to ski with her and we finally did it. So friends, it's never too late to try something new and try to be brave with your kiddos. So I'm not sure why I'm feeling sentimental today about being a mama, but I'm just thinking about like the last 22 years and how hard I worked to raise these kids. And that's what I was supposed to do. Like there wasn't a lot of time for me to do these extra kind of things. Money was tricky. We were in law school, starting our family, all of those things. But now that um, they're getting older, I started when my oldest son was 16. Like he taught me to rock climb and I was so nervous to rock climb and I did it. And then my other son's like, let's mountain bike. And all these things I was so nervous to do before. I'm just trying so harder to be brave. That was my goal last year for 2020 and, 20, and 2019 was to be brave. And this year I just keep pushing it. And so I'm just thinking of all you mamas that message me about other things besides DIY. About, um, you're just stuck in that phase where they're all little. And that's the, that's the phase that you're trying to keep them alive, right? It's the phase of so much hard work and that's your job. Like keep it up, keep it up. And then you're gonna get into a phase where things are a little bit more enjoyable. I don't mean enjoyable, it's all enjoyable. Um, it's a little bit more um, easier to not just keep them alive, but to actually spend time with them. Even though you're spending so much time with them when they're little, I'm just saying, hang on because there's this phase of my life where I like get to just go up and go skiing with my daughter and I don't have to worry about changing a diaper or any, I mean, lots of moms do it when they're little too. I'm just saying if it's not your season right now, the season will come if you make it. And I'm just, I'm just really cherishing this time. It's awesome. So those are my chat chats on the chairlift, right? Let's have some chats on the chairlift. Okay. One other thing. I wanted to, I was thinking about on my little chairlift chat. When I was a younger mom, I felt like I could never give like my kids a ton of attention and then I'd get all the other things done. And one thing that my mom said, she had seven kids and was a piano teacher and was really, really busy too. And she said, Kelly, if you can give your kids 15 minutes of undivided attention, they will give you two hours of free time. Meaning if everything you ever do is always just like subpar, halfway paying attention they feel it and then they're always needing you because they know you're not 100% available and so I started doing that where like I would give 15 20 minutes of just totally playing Legos or totally just invested in a book or and then they I think the kids felt fulfilled and then they'd end up just going off and playing and I was able to accomplish some things versus all day long not getting anything done because I was always halfway there and I was actually talking to my daughter about it last night because as a young mom for me I didn't even have a ton of distractions except house things there was no cell phones I never owned a cell phone I didn't even own a computer Facebook was just starting Instagram wasn't a thing social media wasn't a thing YouTube wasn't a thing and I think it'd be so much harder for me now to give 15 minutes of undivided attention because I have a phone that's constantly like dinging me notifications and I can be looking at Instagram, getting amazing inspiration. And I just thought for those of you who are younger moms, I could see how really hard that would be. And so what it would mean for me back then is I would have literally needed to put my phone away somewhere or else I would have never been present. Cause even now I'm not always present when my, that's why I'm like trying harder to put my phone away when the kids are home from school after three o'clock, I'm like focus time because otherwise I'm constantly looking and they'll be like, mom, you're not listening. And I'm like, oh, you're right. So maybe if you are struggling to find some moments of good times with your babies, think about that. Like 15 minutes of undivided attention, nothing else except your eyeballs on them. Cause that really helped me. That was good advice from my mama. Anyway, hope that helps. Anyway, I hope that makes sense of my thoughts that I'm trying to share today of just, there's times and seasons. If you don't have a lot of time to spend with your kids and cultivate like those deeper relationships, it's cause when you're younger, a uh, younger stage of life, mama, um, you're just, like I said, trying to keep them alive, feeding, clothing, stopping the fighting, making sure they don't get hurt. So take little 15 minute increments. Um, to connect. But when they get older, I feel like there's just a little bit more time. So I'm not saying wait till they're older to start spending time with your kiddos. I think do your best 
but I just am noticing now that I'm in this older phase, it's just a lot easier to spend the whole day skiing and just talking and visiting versus worrying about all the little things. And so I think there's times and seasons, we take a breath, we do what we can, we don't have to wait to be brave or wait to spend time. But I think in different seasons, it's a little bit easier to do. Um, but I think it's valuable in all seasons. And so I think there's definitely times I wish I would have spent more time focusing on my babies when I was younger and less time stressing so much about the house being clean. And but I did my best, right? I just did the best that I could of what I felt capable of. And I'm not necessarily trying to make up for lost time now, but I'm definitely trying to um, use the time that I have available now to eat them up even more. And today has just been a really special day. I have loved skiing with my little nugget and connecting with her. And these are the things that I think we will remember for a long time. And I think your little babies will remember that the little moments of reading a book with them and calming yourself and setting aside the distractions, even if it's just for a few minutes. So, all right. Episode one of Chairlift Chat has finalized.